Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games, and welcome back to the Tug Dick Pinch Hit Show. Look at that, he's hit over 400, well, he's hit 400 over the last 10 games. No, he's only had 4 at-bats. No, he's had more than 4 at-bats. He's had 10 at-bats and 4 hits. That's actually worse for him than what he was doing. Still riding the bench. And it would appear we'll have a pinch hitter here to start things out in the bottom of the inning. We're playing lights out baseball. Still on the bench. We're doing what we can though. We're down six to two, unfortunately, against the Mets. Bottom of the fifth. Good slider there, and he gets ahead of him, nothing in one. And you see the numbers there. He's been very. I tried to get too much under that, and I couldn't get a piece of it. And there's one he'd like to have over again. Missed high with the slider. That's back-to-back -back breaking balls away, but now he's got himself into a little bit of I'd like to imagine spot. after games, Tug Dick just goes again, and stands so in left field. <laughs> Remember the days when he played left field before he became a regular pitch hitter? Count. He's throwing the same pitch three times in a row. He got ahead with it. Now let's see if he puts him away with it. I wish our uh, agent would call again with some different offers. Last time our agent called, he didn't ask anything that was really going to help Try us. Again, one, two. Another one sent foul. Good contact, just a little Set bit late. On a ball and two strikes, and a pitch down that Don't touch it, second baseman. I hate you. <laughs> and he's retired one away. Well, that tug dick attitude is part of the reason why he's not an everyday left fielder anymore. Despite having the numbers and the Number skill. Is on and, he'll take over on the mound in and we lose to the Mets. Hmm. Hmm, Bochi. I don't know why they dick thrust against each other. You New York boys keep your funny self stuff to yourselves. It's not how we do it here in San Francisco. Some people are going to be like, really? <laughs> I don't believe that. I do not know what the hell Bochi is thinking. I guess, you know, he's doing something right, though. Our team continues to win. Uh, not that we won that game, though. I missed the old game. Let's see. Cruz and Graf are on the right side. So can you get me your best starting pictures? Graph, please? What? Are you actually seeing Tug Dick to get a pitcher's autograph for you? It's not his job. His job is to pinch hit and be mad at Bochi. <laughs> I really love our time with the Giants here, but I almost wonder if we should say that we're mad at the organization. Now, in past MLB The Shows, there was a place you could go and be like, hey, trade me, play me more. All that stuff, so but they got rid of that. Either that or I can't find it. I think they got rid of it to change to the pave your path thing, where you can only ask for a change when your manager, no, your agent calls, sorry. Now, right but our agent's not called in a while. Bottom of, of the eighth. Of we are up eight to four. Dick. Tug Dick comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's one and oh. Tug Dick hitting a strong 388. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. And that pitch misses in the dirt. And it's, it's a shame the All Star game doesn't have a designated pinch hitter for his for him. I mean, in real life, you want to want that, but still. 2 0 count. 2 0 pitch on the way. 3 and 0 now. That one lady doesn't want to stand up. Why are you disrespecting the dick, woman? Get up. The leadoff guy coming up next. They got a chance to have a big inning. From the windup, the 3 0 pitch. Come on, Tug Dick. This is your pitch. Oh, we hit the pitcher. We almost got out because of that. Luckily, that runs it. And you know he's going to get some stolen bases, or at least go for some. The center fielder, number 19, 
John Jay. In now is John Jay as he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. You know why John Jay is starting? And I'm not, says De Tug Dick, because John Jay is a yes man. Tug Dick's not a yes man. He tells it how it is. Now a move over to first. And, and how it is is that pitch is a giant poop stain. It's like, what kind of insult is that? It's a pretty shitty one. <laughs> what? A one pitch. And there he goes towards second. A pitch out. The throw. And it's skipped. How did they not get him? They should have had him. Did two a whiskey ruin it? Was it just a bad throw? The throw was pretty good, but they still couldn't cut him down. You kind of just have to hope he gets a bad jump. Tulewski never tried to reach back. Or he waited too long. If he would have reached back with one movement, he would have had him. Instead, he just hesitated before he tried to reach back to take him. And the runner's breaking for We're going to get caught here. <laughs> it's a good one to Arenado. Whatever. <laughs> trying to steal third. I noticed he had a big lead there at second, so I wasn't surprised. Yeah, he shouldn't have gone for that, but... Doesn't matter, Giants win! Good to win a baseball game, but when you can win one at home in front of your home crowd, all those fans cheering. Keeping the home fans happy. This is a hell of a season. Jose Quintana earns his eighth victory of the season. Chad Bettis permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that I think we're starting to get to the point of the game where maybe Tug Dick is going to maybe have his will broken a little bit, where maybe he's like, maybe I'll just tell the manager yes once in a while to shut him up so I can play every day again. Tug Dick coming up to pinch hit. We're down 3-0. has stood up to throw out there. Tug. Right up the middle. Right back at the pitcher. It's a base hit. So a good start to the inning for the Giants. Lead off hitters aboard. Well, that's what you want right there. Late in the game, lead off single. Now they still got some work to do. You got the time run on the on deck. That's honestly why Tug Dick should be the leadoff man for this team. He's got good contact, good speed. No, he's not, Matt. Bad attitude. answer for their opponent on the mound so far. He's set. Here it comes. And look at that leg kick. He's bringing his knee up to his mouth like he wants to kiss his own knee. Get a room with your knee, pervert! Hey, ump, I called him pervert. Wasn't that good? <laughs> First base coach is like, yeah, that was, that was really good. Tug. And no errors on the giant ledger to this point. Runners on the move for second. Pitch is high. The throw. And it's far too late. As he uh, that guy takes forever to get that ball home. So they still haven't picked up an extra base hit in this one, but that stolen base at least gets him a guy in scoring position. Say, so Tug Dick's the first runner in scoring position this game for our team? We need to make something happen in a different way. They only need a single to the outfield now. There we go. Easy. You Stealing on that guy. Work on throwing the third quite as much as they do to second, and I'm sure he's not too happy with himself about that one. A good throw might have got him, but that one just sailed on him a bit. Maybe he thought Tug Dick was ten feet tall. We are the Giants, after all. <laughs> uh, we're still down by three runs, though. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Come on, John Jay. Get a hit. Get Tug Dick home. Let's get that rally going. No one better. Here's the three one. And he walks him. No? Okay, I wasn't paying attention to the ump apparently. Right there. And now we're late in the game and he continues to pound the outside pitch. And it's really working out for him. Crowd gets up for the three two. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Well, he fouls off Come on, John Jay. Right there, you wonder, does he it's a perfect RBI opportunity. Tug Dick is great at setting up the people behind him with RBI opportunities. Because if he can get on, he can usually get to second or third. Either because he hit a double, a triple, or mostly a single with some stolen bases. Again, three and two. 
Uh, and he can only battle for so long as he's Damn it, John G. here after an eight pitch at bat. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. That's the fourth time he struck out, and we're only in the second game of the series. I think that's something Tug Dick would do. Is he'd probably go sit by Bochi on the bench and be like, Tug Dick doesn't sit out, <laughs> strike out a lot. Tug Dick would talk about himself in the third person to try and get himself back in the game. <laughs> the truth is, Tug Dick hardly ever strikes out. Even before this, even last year when he hit like 280 or 290, he usually makes contact. Buster Posey! That's his ramp rapster and na game name. Just about gets away from yeah, those kids, they love the rapster. Bottom of the eighth. The one and delivery. Hit down the third baseline. But Almost. Foul ball, one and one. One out and a well, we got a real third. chance to come back here. Hit well on the ground at first. Nunez fields it cleanly. Well, we got one run in. We're running out of outs, but that's the start. Good job by Posey getting the run in. giving him the run on a ground ball, so he just takes advantage of that and drives the run home. Number 67. Come on, Huff, you got to win this thing. Look, that's a good ERA. We got good ERAs with the bullpen this year. And we lose, unfortunately. Damn you, Rockies! games as opposed to those slugfests. This was like a throwback game when home runs weren't so common and pitching was really dominant. No complaints here. Three to one, the final score this afternoon. Yulis Chassin. You know, it's the only run it was Tug Dick coming home. Boone Logan hammers down the save. I'm sure Tug Dick would say so that on the bus the next to, or behind Bochy. Notice the only run of the last game was Tug Dick coming home. <laughs> He had a good game. Unfortunately, the team did not do well enough. We should still be in first, though. Look at that. 395. He's hitting 395. We are four games up on the Diamondbacks. How's everybody else doing? Cards, two and a half games up on the Reds. Braves, a game up on the Mets. Mariners, seven games up on the Rangers. White Sox, a game and a half up on the Indians. Well, the Tigers have slid. And the Rays, seven and a half games up on the Red Sox. We're going to go play the Pirates. Still pinch hitting! For the love of God, manager! We're almost at 50 wins for the year. I mean, and don't mistake my complaining for not having fun. I am having fun in the character, but... This isn't like a Terrell Owens moment where he's pulling the team down. He still plays like a team player. He just doesn't like the manager. Well, he likes the manager. He doesn't like the hitting coach. We are down four zip. Top of the six. Tug Dick in to start a new rally. Right up the middle. Easy hit with Showtime. It's like a bumblebee parade there, man. I'm, I'm talking about the colors the Pirates are wearing. It's not as bad as when the Steelers wear their throwback uniforms. And now is John Jay. A pitch out. The no, we're not going to make it. We're screwed. <laughs> that was an accident. That wasn't me trying to dick around. I should have gone. I, I hesitated. That was a mistake. And the Pirates win. Well, even Tug Dick is going to make mistakes at times. That was definitely a mistake out there in the field. And put the losing streak behind it like professionals are supposed to do. Well done. A four to one finish in this evening's game. Mark Babcock earns win number seven on the season. Eddie Reyna. Either they're shooting off fireworks 
Or somebody's playing their bass loud in the place. Oh look, fireworks! That looks actually kind of nice. You ready for more pinch hitting madness? Wait, a roster move was made? Did we get back into the starting lineup? Just tell me we didn't get traded or demoted to the minors. Bochi would. I wouldn't put it past Bochi at this point. Yeah, we demoted you to the minors. What? I'm hitting better than anyone else on the team. Chuck Dick's killing it. All right, I guess we're going to find out. Did we get put back in the starting rotation? Look at that. Tug Deck is getting a lot of attention for a possible all-star selection. Uh, where do we see that? All-star voting. All right, so we got to go to left field. We're second most votes for left field. And we have not started a game in like a month and a half or something. Maybe it's a month. It's been a while. Second most votes for left field. Nice game the other day from our starting third baseman. Is he signing it anonymously? He has the name. Is it just he doesn't want Bochi to find out? I don't want to anger Bochi that I said you did good. We're still pinch hitting. Did we just bring someone up from the minors? It'd be hilarious if we made the all-star team pinch hitting. You can see we're dominating in stolen bases. I bet Bochi was just fucking with Dick. I made a roster move. Yeah, huh? Do I get a start? Like, no, no. We, we brought someone up from the miners. God damn you. Man, you guys, I like those uniforms there, pirates. We are up 8 to 1. And now, Tug Dick, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He drew a base on balls his first time up. No, he didn't. This is his first at bat. What are you talking about? Now in the bullpen. Are you high on drugs? I mean, it's not like you're going to confuse him with someone else named Dick on the team. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. He'll get it into second. The tag and that's a good throw. Second. Well, he clearly thought he had a shot at two on the hit, but they did a nice job in the outfield. Yeah, that was a perfect job by the defense there. Down. Just barely missed making it for he's the double. Petite. Comes on to start the inning, and he'll have a huge lead to work. But we win! Suck it, Pirates! Your uniforms were dapper, but our playing was... Prapper? Proper? I don't know how to rhyme. Whatever. We win! very happy with this win. This one ends with a 10-5 to score. And Tug did get another hit to keep his stats up. <laughs> they did a really good job getting that ball in from center. Was that McClutchin? Oh, the next series we play too is against the Tigers. That's pretty badass. You know what? We'll start that series. These series go by so fast. For better or worse, because uh, we're pinch hitting all the time. Oh, look, we lost two games to the Tigers that they didn't have Tug Deck play in. Wait. Oh my god. Do you see that on the left side? Tug Deck is going to start in the game. Maybe it's because the Tigers beat us twice? Thank you, Tigers. Tug Deck's hitting over 400. Did he beat Bochi then? Did he wear Bochi down? Where Bochi's like, ah, I gotta start him. He's playing too well. Because Tug Dick's attitude did not improve. Afternoon baseball from the Motor City. Comerica Park Hell yeah, Motown! Today, the third and final game in this three-game series. Go Tigers! I'm actually wearing my Tiger hat right now. And the Detroit Tigers. It's Tigers baseball, and it's coming up next. They have a nice ballpark there. I've been there a number of times. Josh and they're right across from Ford Field. To go as he'll be on the mound for Detroit. 
What do we need to know here, HR? Well, he's had a little bit of a struggle against right-handed hitters, and to me, that's the key to this game. They're hitting over 300. Right-handed hitters over 300. So he's going to have to get the right-handers out. I've sat right the there before. Not on the pitcher. They don't the let you sit on the pitcher anymore. <laughs> what? At the plate, tug. All right, nobody got on like usual. It says Admiral Motors back there. It's supposed to be General Motors. First pitch of the but obviously they changed it because apparently they didn't get permission from GM. One well above the zone for a ball. Harold, these Tigers, as they begin play here today, they come in riding a five-game winning streak, and they've really got things clicking. Yeah, and man, left here, kind of like above now, Tug Dick's butt, too, you can see really statues. They have a bunch of statues over there by left field of great Tiger players. Baseball, you come oh, fuck your changeup. You smell the hot dogs, and you're excited to play even in the afternoon during batting practice, and that's what I see with this club right now. Oh no, I got under it too much. Nice contact, but under it too much. And he will make the catch, so that'll do it. He's like, I'm gonna go right on the carousel. They have a carousel there that instead of like horses, it's all tigers. Hey, there's Ty Cobb sliding. No score. I want to go to the Tigers game right now. So digging in now, Dave Cole. Leading off first no, KO is in. Mama said to knock you out. Not Cole. All right, Tug Dick, we're up 2-0. We're actually getting to play in left field. Tug Dick is like, yep, I broke Bochi. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yes, good catch. Dick has it, and it's a quick out number one. All right, time for majestic defensive alignment for the Giants. We're back, boys. Time to play. We got Buster Posey. Took him a little while to figure out how to work things in the big leagues, but boy, can he catch. He can still catch and throw. He'll pull you every now and then, too, but he calls it a tremendous game. The important thing is, well, there's a lot of important things. This good seeing Posey on there in Pence, but it's nice seeing Dick back in left field. Into the box now. Alexi Amarista, and he is proving to be something of a non-threat with a bat in his hands. Hey, his paws! That's the Tigers mascot. I don't know why he's stomping. Maybe he's angry. My wife locked me out! God dang it! Said I was doing too much catnip! Uh-oh, pauses. On the reg again. <laughs> like, what? Come on, Tug Dick, you got it. Nice catch. And that's the third out. See Buster Posey, he can play defense too. Humidity has finally taken its toll on some of the fans. Yeah, humidity. Humidity in Michigan is a real thing. We're surrounded by Great Lakes. It's a very humid state. Let's do this. Or you could see defense. Hey, Motown. Motor City and Windsor, Ontario, just across the river. As we welcome you back to Camaro. Yeah, I've been through Windsor a couple of times too. Digging in to try it again. Tug Dick. Uh, mostly on my way to the front or whatever. We're up two zip, runner on first. One out. First pitch on its way. A fastball Man, fastball right, right down the middle. Strike. Man, I think he's trying to send a message right here. I'm gonna challenge you. I like that is a smart I pitch. I'm better than you. I don't care how good a hitter you are. And this guy's a good hitter, by the way. But he came right. Oh God, dang Charlie it! Got a little bit too under it. Michigan, yeah. And that's the second out of the inning. And he will Sorry, Posey, I tried, man. He'll think twice about trying to move up. Tug Dick 0 for 2. I told y'all he'd have a rough start when he got to the regular starting again. Runner on second, 2-1. We have only a one-run lead right now. Please go into the stands. That's not good. And that retires the side. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. David K.O. coming back up. There's a lot of field out here. There used to be more before they brought in the left field fence a number of years ago. Those hitters were sick of not being able to hit home runs in the park. Yeah, Tug Dick's playing good defense. He's still got a 2-1 lead. Stepping in and ready for another Will he shot. score? I Will don't know. We might find out after this at bat. Will he so score? Far, but his guys are looking oh shit, we're down right three here. to two. Yeah, nothing better than coming Go Tigers. In a tight game at, Come on Giants. Kind of I'm conflicted. Productive. Not really. Dick, I'm a Tiger fan first and foremost. Side is retired. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors and a runner left. We'll look Let's just hope that this is a regular thing going back to the lineup. That it's not just this game. All right, Tug Dick 0 for 3. For another shot now. Tug Dick. 
Tug. Dick. Now the pitch. Swing and a liner. Oh, man. It's like, where the hell did that go? I thought the contact was good, but it was a little bit late. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Jackson giving chase. He gets ah, too many of these he just got under in this game. Oh, Tigers win! I'm supposed to be like, no, go Giants! But I, they're my Tigers, I love them. It's too bad the team lost. But the important thing is, Tiger got to play most honorable Tigers. I guess the big thing, too, is next time, next episode, will Tug Dick be in the starting lineup again? Has he finally rebounded enough where he's a regular starter? Or is this just one game? It's so cool to be playing in Tiger Stadium. Or uh, Comerica Park, I'm sorry. They tore down Tiger Stadium a while ago. Well, I'll see you all next time. Take it easy, everybody.